Alright, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> so, I got a text from uh, Pam to uh, text saying that her mother's offering me $500 to watch the kids while she goes to Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, I gotta laugh because again, I want you to understand how some people might mindset are that they think that they can throw. Well, you know what? They, they can't throw money at most black people and they'll and they'll take it regardless of, of what, right? They will compromise their own uh, uh, morality. They'll compromise their own character, right? They'll even compromise their own belief system for money, right? Because money is what they believe in. Okay, money is what you you can use to control them, right? And uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't even respond because, you know, I, I'm not interested. I already talked. You could you can give that five hundred dollars, give it to another family member, and have them, uh, you know, do it. Like I said, I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, I am not doing I'm not doing that anymore. So there you go. Not interested. All right. Great. Yep. Good. I like I'm and I'm really like what? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I don't need no money from your mother. I'm fine. The same mother who was in a relationship that told you to go out with your ex. Right? The same mother that, that, uh, <laughs> you know, anyway, that's all I'm going to, that's all I'm going to say. But not interesting. You know, and I want you to understand how these women uh, operate. Right? And how they and, and the, the type of thing that they do, how they, how they don't listen and how they will try to manipulate you, all right? And I know. You can, um, maybe, people, maybe people can throw money at you to get you to compromise yourself. But that's okay. Money don't control me, don't rule me. Would I like to have money? Of course, everybody would, all right? But the one thing you can't do is use, is like I said, use money to turn me against my people, to use me as a gatekeeper. It's not gonna happen, <laughs> right? So if I, if I say no to that, what you think I'm gonna say, All right? So no, thank you. Be grateful and just have mercy, so just have mercy. <laughs> Religious nigger peons. Alright, grateful and mercy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh shit. I tell you. Anyhow. Um, what else I was saying? So yeah, I was talking about the psyops, right? And how again uh, there are a lot of articles about how the CIA is engaging in again psychological online operations right so like I said anytime you want that's I know when I come I'm on Facebook like that, that's how I know I know how they can particularly I know who they uh, are mind control to come onto my page right to say whatever you know and I handle I, I handle them in a certain way <laughs> you know, I'm not usually, I'm not disrespectful anyway, but I just, I handle them by giving them the truth, all right? But when you give them the truth, then you you open their mind a little bit, you know, you kind of expand their circle of awareness as to what's going on, you know, like the other, what was that, a couple, what, about a week ago, somebody made a post, was it this week? Uh, we made a post about um, if you were... Uh, if you're a woman and you have a man and you're struggling, uh, 
then you need to get rid of him or something like that. Uh, no woman should be lying next to that man uh, struggling. And I'm just like, you know, these are black people, right? <laughs> Who, again, I want you to understand how their mind have been conditioned to ignore the reality, right? And the reality is most black people, matter of fact, most people in general, right? When it comes to having a relationship on most married couples, right? Both, or both male and female, or whatever, male, male, female, female, they contribute to the relationship. They contribute to the, they contribute financially to the household, to the household expenses. Okay? And like I said, unless uh, you find a man or a woman or whatever that's making a high uh, uh, six figures, where you guys make an agreement to whether who's going to stay home and, and watch the, and, and raise the kids or what have you, you know. But the vast majority, particularly black people, are the working class or the working poor. Okay, they're not the middle class. <laughs> they're not even the lower middle class. All right. So when they say, and when I see these men say this, I can start say, listen. Just because you might have a good job, have a good, get good pay, right? Doesn't mean that everybody, every other black man is out there having, having a job like this. Okay? You know, they tend to, they tend to forget these things. They tend to act because, again, the mind is conditioned in a certain way. When the mind is uh, been through trauma, which we as our mind is going through trauma day in and day out is the fact, again, that the mind will create certain things. And, you know, I expect women to be saying shit like that, but not men, you know, but there are men out there who will say these things or that to, to get money from gullible women, right? Because, you know, women love to be in their delusion. They love people to support their delusion. All right, talk to you guys.